one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is a place where legal aliens are not welcome because it's against federal law. You take a look here in Manassas. There was no group that was advocating, you know, to, on the illegal alien issue until recently. Until this problem got so outrageous and so out of control that citizens, you know, they, they were forced into it. You know, there, there really wasn't much of a choice. You either surrendered your neighborhood or you did something. Registrations are down this year. It means somebody's not putting their kids in school. Now the other side's trying to say, oh, they're home, they're afraid, they're gonna wait and see what happens. No, no. My ears on the street tell me people are leaving. People are leaving. And you see those the approach of signing up lots of members, getting them engaged in the political process, having them ask their elected officials for reform, and if they don't do it, being a force that's probably going to help vote them out of office, that's a very effective approach. That's what Help Save Manassas is doing. Chairman Corey Stewart joined with Supervisor John Sturrup to push through a legislative agenda from Help Save Manassas. Last month, because of the efforts of Greg Latin and all of you, yes. we deported 56 illegal immigrants. Oh. And we've only just started. All right. Yeah. Uh, Jackson Miller just walking in the oh. back. Of Standing next to him is our uh, the Republican challenger in the 29th district, Bob Fitzsimmons. These candidates need your help, they need your money, and they need you to go knock doors and volunteer for them. If you are so inclined, and there's no official position by Help Save Manassas on Who's going to stick their neck out on this issue if the people that are sticking their neck out on it now aren't reelected? Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all that you've already done for my campaign. If you don't have a yard sign, we've got them. We're probably going to get about 10% of the population that can register to vote to actually vote on November 6th. If that 10% is us, we drive the agenda. Who are the ones that introduced the legislation that we like? Who are the ones that voted on the Board of Supervisors to implement this resolution? People that are here illegally are illegal. Amen. And then when they come here into our community and they commit a crime on top of that crime, how can you possibly have any sympathy for that individual? Amen. I'm Jay O'Brien. I represent the 39th Senate District. Uh, I actually live in Fairfax. Oh. I know. Oh. I know. Where <laughs> <laughs> did uh, Chairman Stewart go? <laughs> He's my eye. Okay. But why the federal government has failed, and why Prince William County and other localities have to pick up the slack for what the federal right. government has failed to do. That's right. And tomorrow, we're right going on. to change the world. We're doing it right now. We've started here in Prince William County. We need all of your support. We've got a tough election. This election that is on the local level is going to have national significance. This is the issue this year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Corey's right. He's on, he's, he took uh, Chairman Connolly to task on him, and he's right.